how these plants affect the human body. The chemicals present in ayahuasca can make a person see, hear, smell, feel or taste things that aren't really there or cause the person to experience things differently from how they are in reality. The ingredient dimethyltryptamine DMT is not orally active because there is a compound in the digestive tract that destroys it, called monoamine oxidase MAO. Because the ayahuasca tea contains an MAO inhibitor, the hallucinogenic DMT can then enter the circulatory system and be absorbed into the brain. Chen on put together a groundbreaking theory about psychoactive plants and the Bible. Chen on received his PhD in experimental psychology from Stanford University and is a professor of psychology at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem. He wrote a book about his numerous research experiences with a drug called ayahuasca, called Antipodes of the Mind. He became well known for his biblical entheogen hypothesis, which laid out the argument that Moses was under the influence of psychoactive drugs during very important moments in the Old Testament of the Bible. Entheogens pop up throughout religious history. From Siberia to Mexico, drugs were used in ancient religious ceremonies to gain a better connection to the spiritual world. The term entheogen was coined by ethnobotanists in 1979 as a way to better describe the use of drugs for religious reasons. The definition of entheogen is that which causes God to be within an individual. Some of the oldest religious texts in the world are the ancient Hindu Vedas. They mention a drug called Soma, whose identity remains unknown. However, it is described as a plant made into a drink that would give those who consumed it otherworldly power as well as improved communication with the deities. Drugs can be instruments to develop religious understanding. In the Amazon region, ayahuasca is used in religious ceremonies. Although ayahuasca along with the plants used by the early Israelites is a mind-altering substance, Shannon is adamant that using it can be an experience that brings a deeper understanding of God. The plants were universally regarded as sacred, even divine, and held to be the source of true knowledge and the very foundation of the cultures in question. Their consumption is a lifelong engagement. The two plants found on the Sinai Peninsula are also used in ayahuasca ceremonies. Ayahuasca contains two key ingredients, DMT and Mao, that give it its hallucinogenic effect. Two plants in the Sinai region contain the same ingredients. The acacia bush contains DMT, and the peganum harmala bush contains MAO. The ancient Israelites would have had access to both critical plants. There are always very specific preparations made for ayahuasca ceremonies, and similar preparations have actually been described in the Book of Exodus in the Bible, in relation to the Mount Sinai events. The use of hallucinogens may have united the people of Israel. Although his theory has been somewhat divisive for the religious community, Shannon believes that the use of hallucinogens may have been a uniting factor for the early people of Israel. He stated that opinion in an interview with Israel Radio. As far as Moses on Mount Sinai is concerned, it was either a supernatural cosmic event, which I don't believe, or a legend, which I don't believe either, or finally, and this is very probable, an event that joined Moses and the people of Israel under the effects of narcotics. Moses experienced common side effects of someone who has taken ayahuasca. Shannon came up with the hypothesis that Moses and his fellow Israelites were in an altered state of consciousness 
when they experienced God at Mount Sinai. According to Shannon, the effects of ayahuasca consumption can result in hallucinations, which can include seeing light and experiencing intense religious feelings. Shannon posits that experiencing seeing a bright while also feeling deep religious connections can give one the illusion of seeing God. The effects of the plants may explain a few very important biblical moments. Shannon claims that two of the major events that most people know Moses for in the Bible occurred while he was possibly under the influence of hallucinogenics. Those events are the receiving of the Ten Commandments on Mount Sinai and the encounter with the burning bush with which he had a conversation. He also experienced things throughout the book of Exodus that include bright light and the sound of trumpets, visual and auditory sensations that can be experienced through drug use. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and likes and comments down below and also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then. Take care. Bye.